In this video, we're going to talk about how we take a polynomial and divide it by a monomial. A polynomial can have any number of terms that are added or subtracted together, but a monomial has to be just a single term. And if this is the case that we have, there's actually a little bit of a shortcut that we can use. So here, here's what it looks like. If we have a polynomial with a few terms divided by a monomial with a single term, what we can actually do is break this large single fraction up into a couple of different fractions because since the numerator has addition or subtraction in it, we can take each of these terms in the uh, polynomial and the numerator and divide each of them by the monomial term in the denominator. So here I'll, I'll kind of color code these. You'll have one fraction and then plus another fraction plus another fraction. So it looks something kind of like this. So here, let's, let's look at an example or two and we'll, we'll see if we can explain this concept. Here we have 6x to the 9th minus 10x to the 5th plus 7x squared, that's a polynomial, divided by 2x squared, which is a monomial. And so because I recognize this, and because I recognize that it's specifically a monomial, then I'm going to break this apart into actually 1, 2, 3 fractions. So I have 1, 2, 3 fractions. The first fraction will be 6x to the 9th divided by 2x squared. The second term will be 10x to the 5th over 2x squared, and this will be subtracted since this is a minus. And then lastly, we'd have plus 7x squared divided by 2x squared. And before we go any farther, just, just to clarify, the reason that this works is imagine starting with an expression like this. Well, this would be like adding or subtracting different fractions that have a common denominator. They all have a denominator of 2x squared. And so as we well know, when you add fractions with a common denominator, you just keep that common denominator and then the arithmetic happens in the numerator. So you'd have 6x to the 9th minus 10x to the 5th plus 7x squared for your numerator. Well, we're just using that idea just backwards. And so if we are dividing by a monomial, we'll break it up into three separate fractions. Now we're not exactly done because what we need to do now is take a look at each of these three fractions and see if they can be simplified at all. So we're gonna divide the constants and divide the variables. So let's do that. 6x to the 9th divided by 2x squared. Well, 6 divided by 2 is 3, and x to the 9th divided by x to the 2nd would be x to the 7th. And the, the way that I know that is x to the 9th divided by x to the 2nd. If you have uh, the same base here with different exponents, uh, as we probably know, you can subtract these exponents so x to the 9 minus 2 would be x to the 7th, of course. The second term, 10 over 2 makes 5. x to the 5th divided by x to the 2nd would be x to the 3rd. And then lastly, we'd have 7x squared over 2x squared. Well, the x squareds will cancel. Uh, now, 7 over 2 doesn't really reduce to a whole number, but that's okay. It doesn't have to we'll have seven halves as just a constant term. So here we've taken a large polynomial divided by a single monomial. 